Okay, now that my surfaces are dry, I take a look at them and see how much work they will need. The luchador needs a little bit of pressing, and the acrylic painted piece is pretty good. I might just give it a little, little shot. The or organdy, if you can tell, is really, really crinkly, and this will need to be pressed flat to go on a carrier sheet so it'll go greatly through the printer. Same thing with this one. It's a little bit. Um, this is the one that has both, you can see the white mat and the semi-gloss. This needs to be pressed. The lace paper a little bit and the crinkle paper a little bit. This you, you have to make sure it's kind of flat, although it's crinkled already, because you want to make sure that it will go through your printer and then I'd use the thickest type paper on my printer so that it'll make a really good print. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, it's a Teflon coated sheet and it will, it's for pressing, you, you use it over your, your piece of fabric and then you press it and everything stays great. So I'm going to go do that and then come back and show you how to get it ready on a carrier sheet. So now I have my papers pressed. Uh, if you can see, this, this paper is still a little crinkled on the end. With this type of paper, the crinkly stuff, I'm not going to print this today. I'm going to print this tomorrow or the next day after I give it a little bit more pressing. And what I'll do is I'll lift up my table here, my cover, and I just lay it right underneath there and I let it sit for another day or so and then it'll be perfect for printing. So on this one, I'm going to make it 16 inches because I'm going to print this on my 4800 and it will handle 17 inches wide. The reason I'm going to do it 16 is because I want to overprint the sheet. So I'm just going to tear this where I want it. and put the piece aside and then I'm going to get to take my carrier sheet. My carrier sheet is well used. I piece it sometimes if I have something that's a little longer. Today we're going to use this end of it which uh, might need a little tear off here. I had used some carpet tape once we get into that flashing stuff. I didn't like it very much and it really rips the surface underneath so I put something over it. I use my carrier sheets over and over and over as you can tell. So I'm going to place this down a little bit. And then if I am using a sheet like this where I'm going to print the whole thing and it's pretty square, then I'll put my tape on the actual back side of the piece. What I'm using is a Scotch permanent double sided tape. It says permanent but I pretty much take it off almost immediately so it doesn't stick forever. You have to be really careful when you do this like when you take it off but right now I'm just going to do the whole sheet pretty much. It's easier if I cut the smaller pieces. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it to my carrier sheet so that that is how it will successfully go through the printer. Now if you're using something that's pretty thick, um, it depends on the kind of paper. If it's still too crinkly like a crinkle paper, I'm still going to um, I'm still going to put it on a carrier sheet. If it's really thick and I think it can go through, I won't bother using one. And I probably won't do this back part because I don't think I need to. Now I'll just ballpark center it on my sheet and then my print will be 17 inches wide so it will print out. I'm going to center it on my sheet and then I'm going to do my next one. And I think we'll do the organza next. For this I'm using just a piece of uh, of matte paper on a roll. 
or it was on a roll. It's it's a little junked up. It's got some pieces of prints on it and stuff. So this is my or organdy. So I'm going to do the same thing with this. If I see a little bit of, you want to make sure it's clean because if it's not, then you're going to have a little bit. The ink won't, you know, if it doesn't go through the fuzz, you're going to have a white spot on your print. So I'm going to do this. This really isn't too hard here. It will, you know, the organdy tends to come off a little bit from this tape and that's a good thing later. It's not a great thing when you go putting it through your computer, if through your printer. But when you do that, if you watch the print as it going as it's going through, you could maybe press it down a little bit if you had to. But most of the time, if you do a good job of pressing, you're not going to have any trouble at all. So we'll put this down. And do this side. Okay, the same thing with this one. I wanted to make this a print that was already all printed out to the side. So I'm pretty sure this is 12 inches wide, just about. So I'm just going to, again, center it, ballpark center it, and then just push my edges down. Make sure there's no puckers. So the better job you do in the beginning, the less trouble you're going to have at the end. Make sure there's no fuzz. With the fabrics, it always seems that more fuzz gets on them. I guess that's what fabrics do. One of these sheets is a combination of white matte and semi-gloss, so the print should come out a little bit different in spots. So we're going to do these. See how tape comes off really easily? Because the fabrics, the tapes obviously don't stick really well. And that's the, the reason I don't use the semi permanent is because they seem to leave glue on the back of what I am doing. Because I guess because of the semi permanent, they're like a sticky, and I did that again a sticky tape which leaves the residual on the back instead of letting it stay on here. Because what will happen now is this print will, um, this tape will stay. So if you have another piece that is 12 inches wide, you'll be able to continue to use this tape until it kind of wears out. Okay, one more I'll show you. And then um, I am also going to use a carrier sheet with the luchador, but right here is that the one we did with the acrylic paint on it. So this obviously has got to go back on the end of this too. And I just stuck that sideways, but it really doesn't matter. Same thing, we're going to center this. And then I'll do the luchador. You don't have to watch me do that. This is pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. The, the difficulty comes sometimes when you're putting it through the computer printer. You do your file and you get it ready to go and silly things happen with your printer. Or it doesn't take it or something happens weird. So hopefully we're not going to have any of that stuff going today. So I'm going to ballpark this again. Put it in the middle. Make sure it's flat. And then I'll change my paper setting for a thicker paper. Um, and uh, then I'll do these two luchadors the same way, and then we will go print them.